Okay, welcome to Mesh Mixer tutorial 2 of 4 or 5 maybe. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to basically uh, do some, some really simple changes to this model if you want to make like some kind of fun little thing, printable thing and not really without really knowing much about 3D. So I've got my object here, I can use my hotbox to spin it around. I've got my camera snapping turned on because I like to keep that turned on. And I'm going to do some basic editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this list of objects over here. These are kind of these are called parts in Mesh Mixer, and so you've got your parts bar here. This is actually a, a tab view, so you can change which tab you're looking at. If you ever sometimes the tools change this automatically. If you ever aren't on the parts, it's this little head up here. Um, and basically, what you do in the parts bar is you uh, click down with the left mouse on the part, and you drag it over to the model, and you let go, and the part drops onto the model. And then you can use this little widget here to move the part around uh, on the model. So you click on this little center part to move it around. Uh, you can click on this arrow bit here to move it. So you move the mouse in and out and it'll get bigger and smaller. Um, you can still move it around and then you can click in the circle to rotate it. So you can twist it around like this. Uh, now this little circle also does something. If you click in this little circle it changes the mode of the widget. So there's two modes. In this mode, this thing here twists the part, which you probably will never really use. It's pretty rare that you need to use that. And this one kind of points it around. So if you wanted to sort of reorient this ear on a head or something, you can use that. Um, and you click again, and you go back. And when you're happy with what it looks like, there's some options over here you can play with, too, um, that will kind of let you do different things to it. But I'm not going to explain those in this video. But when you're happy with the part, you go up here and you click Accept and the part will get dropped into place and hopefully be watertight and the model is still printable. Um, so let's get rid of that though. Let's do something else. So you can go actions undo or you can hit control Z on your mouse or on your keyboard or Apple Z to get rid of the the part on Mac. Okay so let's try a different part here. I've got this this sort of dome and I'm going to stick that on. I'm just going to put it down because I want to show you some other things. So this is a pretty common thing when you drop a part is that it leaves it kind of unsightly edge. Um, and if you were to press the W key on the keyboard that turns the wireframe rendering on and off. And in the wireframe you can see you know the mesh has got kind of spiky triangles in there and stuff like that. But you know you never don't actually need to look at the wireframe. If it just doesn't look good to you then what you can do is what I'm going to show you is you can use the smoothing brush to smooth this out. So let's go up to the action bar here. You can see it's different than when the mod there was no model loaded. Now it gives me a bunch of other options. So we're going to use Smooth Brush. And when you go to Smooth Brush, you get a, a, a kind of, instead of that little widget, you get a this thing on the surface that kind of follows your mouse. Um, and basically, when you click down with the left mouse button and move it, so I'm holding down left and scribbling around, you can see the surface gets smoothed out. Um, so this is what the Smooth Brush does. It just kind of relaxes the surface. So you can see it's getting kind of rounder instead of being creased like it is over there. So uh, you can change the size by using the mouse wheel, or you can actually use the, oh no, you can't use the bracket keys. And then you can also drag up here um, to make it bigger and smaller, and you can also change the strength. Um, so if you want to just smooth a little bit, you set the strength really low, just smoothing a bit, or you can crank the strength way up, and now it's going to smooth a lot. So let's just smooth around this thing. and Now it's kind of smoother, it looks a bit better, it might might print a bit nicer or something like that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you one more thing. Say I decided I didn't like this and I want to get rid of it. I could undo everything, but a quicker way is to go to the selection tool, which also has a brush mode by default. So in the selection brush, when I scribble, it's it looks like it's painting the object. What it's doing actually is though is marking an area that I'm going to do some operation to. So I'm going to scribble all over that guy and around the sides. Um, and I'm going to go, so it's got the same, it's got a size, it doesn't have a strength though because it's either selected or it's not, and I'm going to go just use this one quick tool, go to edits and erase and fill. Let's click on that and that part magically disappears and gets replaced with a smooth surface and I can click, sorry I did it too quick, you gotta go up here and click accept to accept it and then it leaves the selection but you can click escape to clear it and there you go.